Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing those with you. Today we're looking at 1 Kings chapter 10. Have you ever had a chance to meet a powerful or famous person? Did that person live up to your expectations when you met them? King Solomon received many important visitors, and one of the most famous was the Queen of Sheba. After spending time with Solomon and inspecting every aspect of his kingship, she concluded this about Solomon in 1 Kings 10, verses 6 to 7. It was a true report which I heard in my own land about your words and your wisdom. Nevertheless, I did not believe the reports until I came, and my eyes had seen it, and behold, the half was not told me. You exceed in wisdom and prosperity the report which I heard. Okay, now as a point of comparison, Jesus referenced this very exact story that happens in today's chapter in Matthew 12, verse 42. And listen to Jesus. Jesus says, The queen of the south, that's the queen of Sheba, the queen of the south will rise up with this generation at the judgment and will condemn it because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon. And behold, something greater than Solomon is here. Interesting. Now, to further illustrate this contrast, listen to 1 Kings chapter 10, today's chapter, verses 23 to 24, as, that, as these words explain about Solomon's power and fame. Quote, So King Solomon became greater than all the kings of the earth in riches and in wisdom. All the earth was seeking the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God has put in his heart. Wow, it's huge. What can possibly be greater than the greatest king on earth? <laughs> well, here it is. Jesus said it. It's the kingdom of God. The sovereign rule of God over all of creation, heaven and earth. <laughs> Through the rightful kingship of the king of kings, God's only begotten son, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah of Israel. Jesus declared that he was ushering in, quote, something greater. And that was his wisdom his riches, and his rule, which far exceed all who had ever come before him and any who would come after him. And that included King Solomon. Jesus, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 23 to 28, has put all things in subjection under his feet. Seize the moment and put your faith in King Jesus, because he will never fall short of the power and the fame ascribed to him. You will never be disappointed when you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Seize the moment.